Hello, my students, and who has it? It's your favorite Dutch with an American accent, and today we are going to do another testing Google Translate video. So, like, I'm not sure if you are anything like me. Probably not. So, I don't know about you, but I have been. Uh, I don't want to say obsessed, but I've been obsessed with Adele's comeback. Can we talk about To Be Loved? I have been raking open old heartbreaks because this song just hit me right in the feels. Oh, also, I'm very sorry about my nail polish, by the way. I have nail polish, but I don't have nail polish remover because I don't like the smell and I don't like how it stings. So I just leave the nail polish on until it like chips off all the way down. Anyway, so today we're doing testing Google Translate. This is a series in which I'm going to absolutely butcher the amazing artist's poetry and we are going to put the lyrics through Google Translate. Then we're just gonna sing it with no preparation at all in Dutch and then we will see what happens. We're gonna do like a little bit of an analysis to see how well Google Translate has done it. For this one, I'm feeling like, you know, she's singing Go Easy On Me. So I'm just thinking that like, you know, it's more of like an idiom. I'm curious to see if Google Translate is going to translate it word for word or if Google Translate knows how to translate the idioms. I don't know, we'll see. I'm excited though, I hope you're excited too. I have Google Translate ready to go, I have the karaoke ready to go. This time I'm gonna be sharing my screen so that you can see the lyrics directly on the screen. And we're gonna do this, let's go. Er is geen goud. Oh wait, that's not the right key, oops. Er is geen goud, deze rivier, waar ik voor altijd mijn handen in heb gewassen. Ik weet dat er hoop is in deze wateren, maar ik kan mezelf er niet toe brengen om te zwemmen wanneer ik verdrink in deze stilte. God let me binnen. Du reste gaan schat. Ik was nog een kind. Heb niet de kans gekregen om voel de wereld om me heen. Ik had geen tijd om te kiezen. Wat ik koos om te doen, de stoere te gaan met mij. <laughs> Let's do the next verse. This is going well. Er is geen ruimte voor dingen om te veranderen. Als we allebei zo diep vastzitten in onze wegen. Je kunt niet ontkennen hoe hard ik heb geprobeerd. Ik veranderde wie ik was om jullie allebei op de eerste plaats te zetten. Maar nu geef ik het op. Du rustig aan schat. Ik was nog een kind. Heb niet de kans gekregen om voel de wereld om me heen. Had geen tijd te kiezen wat ik koos te doen. Dus doe rustig aan met mij. I just got thrown off by how bridge is translated to brug. And I just, I was like, oh my god, okay. I think we're, I think this is fine. Let's, let's, let's just, let's just do the analysis. Oh my god, guys. I think that was a lot better than I, than I like anticipated. 
Like this, this was so much better than the Olivia Rodrigo one. Obviously it's gonna sound a little clunky every time you take something through Google Translate. Even when you're like translating in your head, you know, when you're learning a language, it's always gonna sound a little clunky. And there's like, you know, like how it goes in poetry, like one sentence is divided into two parts. So I'm pretty sure if Google Translate had known that the part of like, um, um, didn't get the chance to feel the world around me, then like Google Translate would have known that you would have said, um, heb niet de kans gekregen om de wereld om mij heen te voelen. So I'm pretty sure Google Translate would have known. All right, so what do we think about the idiom? Go easy on me is translated to do het rustig aan schat. Um, yeah, do rustig aan schat in the other one. So the one time they translated it to do het rustig aan, and the next time they translated it to do rustig aan. And uh, that's weird. Um, but I think this is the most accurate translation that we can get. I think do rustig aan has sort of like a different feel from go easy on me, you know? Like rustig aan would be more like take it easy, you know, instead of like go easy on me. We, I, I don't think we have really a good idiom for that in Dutch. But I'm so happy that Google Translate recognizes this idiom and translates it to something that makes more sense than um, ga makkelijk op mij. I guess would be a word to word translation from go easy on me. So that is good. I also really liked how Google Translate knew that like baby was not like an actual baby. Google Translate knew that it was more of like a pet name. So instead of translated to baby, which is also a Dutch word, the Dutch word for like an, an actual baby, like a young child, you know what I mean? Instead of translating it to like an actual baby, Google Translate knew to translate it to another type of pet name. So they chose Schat for this one. Um, I don't like Dutch pet names. <laughs> I don't like a lot of Dutch things. Like my students are like, why are you teaching Dutch sometimes? Because like, I, I, I don't like the language sometimes. I just really enjoy teaching my students, but I don't like the Dutch language and I don't like the word schat. Um, I don't know any Dutch person that uses Dutch pet names for their partners. We usually would use like English pet names because like Dutch pet names are just not fun. I do know like older Dutch people. I meant like, I don't know any Dutch person of my age. Um, Schat would, would make sense for like the older generation, like the baby boom generation. They would easily use Schat. Um, Schat translates to treasure actually. So it's not amazing. So even though Schat is a pet name that is used, I like it doesn't really give that same feeling as baby would from like an English perspective. Other than that, I think Google Translate did really, really well. Other than, you know, the clunkiness, Dutch sentences are always going to be longer than English sentences. That's just what it is. We need a lot more words in Dutch sentences. So um, we always need like things like reference words or we need to make things longer. It's just, and if you ever interact with like a Dutch person who doesn't really know how to translate what's in their head to English, you know, like people, like Dutch people have good English, but like, you know, they still have a tendency to um, create more word for word translations and like things that actually sound good and make sense in English. So they often have a tendency to really use those like same long Dutch sentences. So you get sort of a little bit lost in a labyrinth of words because like in the Netherlands, we just have really long sentences, especially in like the academic world. It's like really important to like make everything sound long and like use this like elite type of language. And like, it's one of the reasons that I didn't pursue a PhD in the Netherlands because like I was just so annoyed with like the language that I had to use and especially as someone with dyslexia I couldn't convey my ideas well in Dutch and it really frustrated me. This video just turned out to be like criticism of the Dutch language instead of like criticism on Google Translate. I think Google Translate did really really well here actually. I'm so surprised. So the the driver's license video by Olivia Rodrigo, I gave that one a 6 out of 10. 
10, mostly because I just expected it to be really, really bad. And then I was actually like really surprised, but it was still like not good at all. This is so much better. I am going to give this one probably like an eight out of 10. Let me know what your opinions are. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree, if you have any feelings, any questions, existential crises, just, you know, let me know in the comments. All right, that's it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. The link to my italki profile is in the description in case you want to book a one-on-one -on -one class with me. And please, you know, like and subscribe and, and, and everything because I need to know that you love me. All right, that's it for today. Goed gedaan and tot ziens. Doei!